Welcome everybody. And this week's Tech Tuesday, we are talking about integrated control for wheelchairs and custom device development. Uh, we are joined here with Kartik from Rehab Engineering Clinic. Welcome Kartik. Thank you, Joss. Uh, for our app chat chatters, could you explain what integrated control for wheelchairs actually is? So integrated control basically means the ability to use one input device, uh, such as a wheelchair joystick or a switch, to control several other functions in a person's environment. And this is especially handy for people who have, who have complex requirements, so they can only manage one or two switches or you know, a joystick, and then they can control several things around their home, etc. Um, so, um, say if you have five different types of assistive technology, instead of having five individual switches, mm -hmm. you can do it with one switch. I think that's what a lot of people are looking for now these days, is just everything integrated. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's really yeah. attractive. Um, yeah. uh, could you give an example of um, a powered wheelchair integrated control? Sure, so say in case of a power wheelchair, the wheelchair joystick mm -hmm. can be used for your regular driving and seating. Mm -hmm. But nowadays there are so many electronics inbuilt into the wheelchairs that such as Bluetooth and infrared, and then you can control several things like your TV, DVD, mobile phone, and also your communication device and other assistive technology using their special relay boxes. Uh, for example, with Qlogic Electronics, you can have an ECU module, and Rnet Electronics, you can have an input-output module. So a user who can just manage joystick can now control several things around the home from the joystick. Wow, yeah. yeah, things are changing in that space. Yeah. Yeah. And so in terms of um, custom-made devices, how, how would you def define that, I guess? So custom-made devices are devices which are basically where there is nothing commercially available. Okay. Uh, then we tend to manufacture something unique for that patient based on his requirements. Okay. Um, so mainly if the requirements are complex and not commercially available, they come under what we call custom-made devices. Okay, and so, you know, what regulations apply for custom-made devices? So, so I can really imagine how important yeah. that is yeah. Yeah, in terms of... So, the Therapeutic Goods Administration, TGA, mm -hmm. yep. classifies most of our AD, such as wheelchairs and cushions, as class one medical devices. So for custom-made devices as well, same regulations do apply. And these regulations, um, are there to mainly to guarantee the safety and performance of the product and also basically to manage the risk associated with each yeah, of these so, products. So risk management, yes. yeah, yeah, yes. I can imagine. So could you please give some examples of some custom-made devices that you have manufactured at Rehab Engineering Clinic? I know you've got some cool little things on the yeah. table here that, yeah. that is pretty well. So we manufacture a range of custom-made yeah. devices starting from custom cushions to special input devices such as chin controls, uh, ventilator brackets and um, some customized joystick U-bars. For example, this one um, has been 3D printed uh, for a specific users and our occupational therapists, when they do the assessment, they actually say we want something looking like this and need a little ridge on top so that the hand stays put and they do a rough sketch and then we design it and manufacture. So it's basically we fill in, try to fill in gaps where there is nothing commercially available. It's brilliant. It's yeah. really great. I, I, I imagine there's a lot of people out there that, um, yeah, have difficulty sort of grasping the the joystick, but yeah. definitely have like you know their own personal custom yeah. angles that that would work really well with them. So yeah. yeah, that's really it's really cool that you guys can do that. Yeah. Um, and in terms of chin control and three D printing, that sounds like a super interesting mix you know could you elaborate on that a little bit so our it comes under one of the custom-made devices we use and it's mm. probably one of the most complex custom-made devices we manufacture at rehab engineering clinic mm. uh, the reason why i call it complex is because it combines traditional manufacturing techniques such as welding and machining mm. and also advanced manufacturing techniques such as 3d printing um, for example this bracket here has been 3d printed um, and to mount a Qlogic 2 joystick mm -hmm. um, and then um, to manufacture this using traditional methods can take you know a whole day for a technician and you need to have a workshop and everything mm -hmm. whereas we managed to 3d print it um, um, 
in about three hours. So, wow. And again, it's not 3D printing is not for everything, but yeah. depending upon the application, we tend to use it where we can. That's fantastic. Uh, it really cuts down time. Yeah. 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 And so in terms of um, services that the Rehab Engineering Clinic create, um, what, what makes you guys a little bit different from other services? So we are uh, very fortunate and not to boast about ourselves, like we've got uh, quite a mixed uh, uh, skilled people. We've got occupational therapists, nurses, engineers and also very skilled technicians who come from various trade backgrounds so whenever we have a complex problem um, we tend to you know seek assistance from each other and yeah. address it and wa being so remote we can't always rely on the eastern states or you know um, uh, the suppliers we tend to solve problems in house, in house. As well. yeah right, right and rehab engineering clinic is actually part of um, uh, Health Technology Management Unit, which is part of East Metro Health Service. And in Health Technology Management Unit, we have other specialist areas such as bioengineering, communication and assistive technology service and technical services division oh, who so are like, yeah, them. we can draw on their skills mm. and, you know, if we can't solve it, we can always rely on them to get some expert advice. So. It's true multidisciplinary. Yeah. So Kartik, when it comes to custom um, devices, uh, how does one go about um, funding it, um, what are some of the options out there for people? Yeah, so first thing what we would suggest is to give us a call and get in mm -hmm. touch because every user's requirement is different. Um, so we would assess the, assess the user and then uh, give them a quote and then say if they've got NDIS funding, we would contact their NDIS provider to see if it falls within their scope or it could be MBIT and there's few funding bodies, there's grants from the IOC. So then depending upon what's required and we investigate accordingly. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. And again, thank you very much for your time and your insights mm -hmm. into um, custom AT and integrated wheelchair control. Um, I feel very motivated to do it for my own wheelchair now. And um, yeah, and if anyone is interested in finding out more about um, Rehab Engineering Clinic, uh, the details are in uh, the links below. Uh, and, and thank you, thank you for our chat for inviting us and um, um, advocating AD and what we do um, to the AD community in WA. So really looking forward to working more. Thanks. Thanks. See you, everybody.